Jordan and Meadows strike the chord that has DOJ struggling to keep swamp gates closed by US4Trump.com. Tuesday night on the Ingram Angle, Representative Mark Meadows and Representative Jim Jordan joined Laura Ingram in an explosive interview. House Judiciary member Jim Jordan ripped Attorney General Jeff Sessions a new one after he defended the actions of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. During the interview, Laura Ingram showed a clip of, a clip of Attorney General Sessions defending Rosenstein after shocking details surfaced when Rosenstein is threatening House committee members. Um, I'm almost flabbergasted. I mean, what is the Attorney General saying? Rod Rosenstein hasn't complied with Devin Nunes's subpoena. Hasn't complied with Chairman Goodlatte's subpoena. We've caught them hiding information in the Strzok page text messages, Jordan said. Rod Rosenstein was threatening members of the House Intelligence Committee for doing their job for trying to get answers for the American people. And the Attorney General says, that's okay, we're doing just fine. Jordan questioned. I didn't know he had said that when uh, you just played. Uh, and uh, I was like, are you kidding me? Jordan added. And today we learn in Catherine Herridge's report that Rod Rosenstein was threatening members of the House Intelligence Committee for doing their job, for trying to get answers for the American people. And the Attorney General says, that's okay, we're doing fine. Jordan and Meadows both said that they will push for a House vote on a resolution that would urge Rosenstein to comply with committee requests. Let's take a listen here. Oh, a stunning report from Fox News' Catherine Herridge tonight. Documents showing that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein threatened to subpoena emails, phone records, and other documents belonging to members of the House Intel Committee. Attorney General Jeff Sessions came to Rosenstein's defense earlier tonight. I'm confident that uh, uh, Deputy Rosenstein, 28 years in the Department of Justice, uh, did not improperly threaten anyone on that occasion. Uh, but uh, we do believe that we have tried to be uh, cooperative with them and made progress in the in months as as the months have gone by and in fact have had some good relationships with top members of congress with a war between the doj and congress heating up two lawmakers join us tonight to make a major announcement exclusively on the angle here are oversight committee members mark meadows and jim jordan jim what do you think about what you just I, heard from the attorney general you're almost flabbergasted i, I mean what is the Attorney General saying? Rod Rosenstein hasn't complied with Devin Nunes' uh, subpoena, hasn't complied with Chairman Goodlatte's subpoena. We've caught them hiding information in the Strzok page text messages, redacting the fact that Peter Strzok was friends with Judge Contreras, one of the FISA court judges. They tried to hide that from us. And today we learn in Catherine's report that the head of the, in, in essence, the head of the Justice Department, Rod Rosenstein, was threatening members of the House Intelligence Committee for doing their job, for trying to get answers for the American people, and the Attorney General says that's okay, we're doing just fine. I don't, I just, I didn't know he had said that when you just played that. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is, this report of Catherine is unbelievable. When you have the head of the Justice Department, Rod Rosenstein, saying he's going to go after staff members, emails and communications. Going after your, he wants your Blackberry. We are doing our constitutional duty as what, Well, what, the Mark, that's scary. Yeah, Mark, uh, Congressman Meadows, what I think he's saying is that if you guys hold him in contempt, he's going to have to defend himself. And part of the defense will be he wants discovery. He wants to know you who know, you've I, been I, talking to, who you've been talking to. He wants to know your text messages. You know, you're gonna, I mean, maybe they won't redact your uh, documents like they, they did the well, page of truck text. Right. There's two problems with yeah. it, Laura. One is, is that we're a separate branch of government. Yeah. They don't have the right to do that unless we've, we're coming under some kind of criminal investigation. And for the attorney general to say he's confident that, that Rod Rosenstein did everything right, oh well, I'm confident he doesn't know what he's talking about. I, I'm here to tell you, we're, we're fed up with it. Uh, we've been working on a resolution. We've got a resolution here tonight. 
uh, that we're putting the finishing touches on. We plan to file that tomorrow, but but really it's, what all, is it? What's it's all about compelling DOJ to turn over documents so that we can do proper oversight. You know, if they have nothing to hide, turn over yeah. the documents. Jim's exactly right. This is, is just inexcusable. Okay, so what, what happens? That is a resolution to compel the production of documents. Haven't you already been... Well, we've subpoenaed them already. Yeah. And, and so they, what's, they what thought. is that resolution? Tell us what it is. We, we, we're, we're putting together a resolution we would frankly like to, to bring to the full House and have the House vote on. It's one thing for us to say. It's one thing for Chairman to subpoena. It's another thing if the House of Representatives would actually go on record and say, Mr. Rosenstein, we as the House, a majority of the House say, you're not giving us the information we, we need. And frankly, now that we have found out that you were threatening members of the committee staff, a standing committee of they the House of Representatives. They said it's for his defense. He's going to defend himself against your threaten, threatening to call him in contempt. This, well, Laura, let me just say How does he defend himself if, if he, he can't get If he wants to defend discovery? himself, let's come on right uh, tomorrow night. Let's let Rod Rosenstein come on with Jim and I. We'll lay out the facts. He can lay out his talking points. I've invited him on the show. It, well, and, and you know why he doesn't come on? Is they'd rather do uh, private press releases to spin the narrative at midnight and try to act like they're complying. Listen, we've had a, a document out since November 3rd of last year asking for documents. We still don't have them. We have less than 60% of those is, documents. Is, that is this like. draft that you have, um, is it going to call for his removal? What, what is this? No, it just calls for them to really what produce the document. It? What if they give you Well, the, you know, obviously, time. well, they've been doing that all along. So if they do it again, then, it's, then, then, then you at least have at the House spoken and say, we want this information. And if they then don't what? comply with it, then, then everything's still on the table. The same issues are still on the table. Contempt and those, uh, those, those uh, remedies are still on the table. But we're, we're like, look, let's have the House make a, let's have the House take a vote and send a message that a majority of the House agrees with us that you should, you should give us information. We, as a separate and equal branch of government, are entitled to get to get answers for are the Are we American talking people. impeachment of uh, the deputy? Well, I mean, Trump obviously government. that's still something we have in our toolbox, but we will have a vote. I'm, I'm here to tell you tonight, Laura, tell your viewers, we're going to have a vote on the House floor. One way or another, we're going to have a vote, and we're going to make sure that we get those documents. Rod Rosenstein last month called this extortion, basically. He will not give in to these demands. How about extortion when you're threatening members of a standing committee, the House of Representatives, for doing their job? We know these individuals. I know who these guys are. They work their tail off. They're just the guys who helped put together that, that, that memo which talked about what went on at the FISA court and the fact they didn't tell the FISA court who paid for the dossier. They didn't tell the FISA court that Christopher Steele had been fired by the FBI for leaking information. These are the guys who put that together and they're being threatened by Rod Rosenstein. This is as wrong as it gets. What is your uh, general thought on the constitutionality of this whole investigation? I mean, we've talked about this generally before. Uh, there are a lot of scholars who believe and Dershowitz is in, and a bunch of us have been you know, talking about this for months, that this entire special counsel seems like an unconstitutional undertaking. There's no real uh, oversight. Uh, they, they essentially have a limitless budget, even though Congress appropriate. It seems like they have a limitless budget. Well, they budget. do have a limitless budget. And the president really can't remove them, supposedly, because it's bad for politics. So is there really any yeah, executive he, branch oversight if Rod Rosenstein yeah. himself is conflicted? As he's, he's a witness? Well, basically? he should recuse himself. I can tell you, just based on some of the facts we've seen, he should recuse himself. But that aside... In this country, you investigate crimes. You don't go in and start to investigate and see what you can find and, and hope to come up with a crime uh, you know, after you've investigated. And that's not the way this special counsel is doing it. And I think it's wrong. Didn't, it, didn't he say he was going to make the documents available to the so-called Gang of Eight? That's supposed to happen tomorrow, but we'll see. Every time they say they're going to do something, they wind up not doing it or partially doing no, it. No, their so press release said they were going to do yeah. it today. Oh, it was and today. It, it was Tuesday. Gonna, and now Thursday. it's going to happen Thursday. Well, what is Gowdy and, and Ryan saying? Are they supporting you, McCarthy? Where, where, where are the leadership? Yeah, where we, are they? We, we had discussions All with the Speaker and Gowdy. Uh, where are they? In fact, this evening. On this. Well, I, I think they want They're to give more time. They're they nervous They want to give more time. But, but the facts are on our side is, is how long is long enough? And I'm saying... Today is long enough. Justice delayed is justice denied, perhaps. <laughs> well said. Well said. Um, thanks for coming on. Today. That's what they said. Where's uh, um, Paul Ryan and Trey Gowdy? They want to give them more time. And they're saying, you've had enough time. I totally agree. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.